Falstaff is Giuseppe Verdi's last opera. He composed it when he was 79, and uh, incredible, it's a comic opera with some uh, dark uh, twist in it. His first success was with Nabucco, his third opera, and then many years of his career, he was just a very dramatic composer, a lot of tragedies, and uh, at the end of his life, he decided uh, to compose a comic opera based on this incredible character, Falstaff, so from Shakespeare. Verdi was seduced by the figure of Falstaff. He thought that Falstaff could blend the tragic and the comic in a perfect way. And I think the result is simply incredible. He created almost a new way of uh, uh, composing a, a comic opera. Falstaff is the central figure, of course. The orchestra describes Falstaff in the first chords, so here we go. The music is very descriptive, and then uh, there are syncopated rhythms you know, that really uh, project us into this uh, comic world. Now, Falstaff is also uh, an ensemble piece par excellence. We have the quartet of ladies with Alice as the main character. The ladies are really the mastermind, the deus ex machina of all what happened uh, on stage. Falstaff writes to Alice and Meg you know, a love letter you know, that it has a comic twist because, uh, of course, it's Falstaff writing to married ladies, you know, the, the, this love letter. So after all the sparkling music you know, of these uh, four ladies uh, coming in, on a, uh, and then the music stops. Now, always the same rhythm, and then this melodic, uh, seducing Falstaff comes in. And the audience you know, is, is catapulted in this wonderful uh, comic uh, world. So, a, a lot of spark and... Uh, uh, popcorn cooking, uh, I'd, I'd say rhythms and elements and melodic aristocracy and elegance. Elegance is very important word. And uh, we have even what is uh, in this quartet of the ladies, uh, one very important element, one that I particularly love, uh, no, which is the laugh on stage. Uh, I love and hate because it's very hard to, to keep it together. Yes, but uh, again, how genius he places this laugh after another wonderful moment of contemplation and beauty of, of a wonderful line that Alicia sings. And then we have this uh, almost uh, diabolic uh, laugh sung by all the four ladies together, like uh, chickens. <laughs> <laughs> And it's just a coup de théâtre. Verdi knew very well that it was his last opera, and he wanted to give us something of his experience. While he was composing this opera, many of his dearest friends died. How is possible that this music is so great and fresh and youth, you know, with a lot of energy? notwithstanding all the tragedies that Verdi had in his life, no? Children dead, wives dead, you know, many colleagues dead. And uh, this is philosophy of life, how to take bad things, how to reshape your mind and your soul. So I think that's the miracle, that's what makes Falstaff an incredible opera, given as a gift from an eight-year-old man who was a genius. <laughs>